Back to solving word problems using a system of equations. This is day two of your notes, and let's review the steps that we're going to use to solve these word problems. The first thing you're going to do is identify your variables. You can label them x, y, whatever you want, any letter that you want. Write your system of equations. You're going to solve your system of equations, and then you're going to use this fun little symbol that means therefore. So let's move on. This is a combination of items and I like to go over example like examples like these on a completely separate day because they are completely different. So let's look at this type. Bill and Ted went to the local Wings and Much More restaurant. Bill ordered five chicken wings and four chicken tenders and paid $14.25. Ted ordered three chicken wings and two chicken tenders and paid $7.75. What was the cost of a wing? So what we're basically given here is two scenarios. We're talking about chicken wings, we're talking about chicken tenders, we're talking about the costs involved for Bill and then also Ted. So the cost of a wing, what are we looking for? We're looking for the cost of a wing. So when I identify my variables, Let's let W equal wings, and let's let T equal tenders, chicken tenders, and like I said, you can always label these X and Y, solve for Y, graph them, find your point of intersection on your calculator. You can always do that. Just make sure it's so important to label your variables so that you know what you're talking about. Now, because we're looking for the cost of a wing, I like to kind of put there, I'm looking for the amount, okay? I'm not looking for a number. It's not like how many wings or how many tenders. I'm looking for the cost of a wing. So now let's set up our system of equations. And in this kind of situation, we have Bill's situation and we have Ted's situation. So when I talk about Bill's situation, I'm actually gonna write this in standard form, basically, okay? Bill ordered five chicken wings so five times the amount of a wing, and four chicken tenders, so plus four tenders, and he paid $14.25. So now let's look at Ted's scenario. He ordered three chicken wings, three wings, two chicken tenders, plus two tenders, and he paid $7.75. So now we've got our two equations and we can solve them. And I don't really like to use the substitution method on these, but you always can if you can solve for a variable. In this situation, I have my variables lined up like this. So now that I have my variables lined up, I like to see, do I have the same but opposite coefficients? Because if I do, then the elimination method would be really, really awesome. I don't, but I do see that two goes into four two times. Meaning, if I multiply 2 times 2, I would get 4. So I could take the second equation, and I could multiply it by 2 to get 4. I could also multiply it by negative 2 to get negative 4. Because remember, I want the same but opposite coefficients. So actually, if you want to pause the video and go ahead and rewrite your system of equations, distributing this negative 2 into every term, I would encourage you to do that now. So here's what your equations should look like. I'm going to rewrite that first one, 5w plus 4t equals 14.25. And then when I distribute that negative 2, I'll get negative 6w minus 4t equals negative $15.50. And now we can solve this. My t's, the t gets eliminated, and I'm left with negative 1w equals 1425 minus 1550 is negative 125. If I divide both sides by negative one, I get a dollar 25. And the question asks, what was the cost of one wing? I don't need to do anything further because I found the cost of one wing. So therefore, the cost of a wing was a dollar and 25 cents. Let's move on to the second example. Two soccer teams went to Burger Hut after the game. 
The first soccer team ordered 12 burgers and 9 hot dogs and spent $58.50. The second soccer team ordered 15 burgers and 7 hot dogs and spent $66.75. What was the cost of one burger? So do you see the similarities in how these two problems are set up? So let's first write our variables, identify our variables. We're looking for the cost of one burger. Okay, well then let's just let B equal burger. Again, you can always do X and Y, solve for Y, graph it, find your point of intersection. We're solving it this way. H, it's hot dog. We're looking for the cost. So we're looking for a dollar amount. Now let's set up our two equations. We've got two different scenarios here. We've got the first soccer team and their situation and the second soccer team and their situation. So the first soccer team ordered 12 burgers and nine hot dogs. 12 times the amount for a burger plus nine times the amount of a hot dog and they spent $58.50. The second soccer team ordered 15 burgers, 15 times the amount of a burger, seven hot dogs, and they spent $66.75. So now I have two equations, two variables, I've set them up, and I've got them where my all of my variables are lined up, my equal signs, the constants, the Bs, the Hs, so I'm thinking let's solve using a system of elimination. I know that 15 is not a multiple of 12, nine is not a multiple of seven, which means I'm gonna have to multiply both equations by a number to eliminate a variable. So I'm gonna tell you my thought process. I'm looking for the cost of a burger. If you were to eliminate a variable, which one would you wanna eliminate? Hot dogs, let's do that. Let's eliminate hot dogs. Well, what's the least common multiple of 7 and 9? It's 63, which means I'm going to need to multiply this first equation by 7 to get 63. I'm going to have to mul the second, multiply the second equation by 9 to get 63. I want one of them to be positive and one of them to be negative. Well, I could multiply this top equation by negative seven or this bottom equation by negative nine. It doesn't matter, you'll end up getting the same thing. So I'm just gonna multiply the top equation by negative seven. So what I would do if I were you is pause the video and distribute these values into each and every single term in each equation and rewrite your equations. So here's what you should have gotten if you distributed the negative seven into every term in the first equation, negative 84b, minus 63h equals negative 409.5. If you distributed this nine into every term on the inside of the parentheses in the entire equation, second equation, you should have gotten 135b plus 63h equals 675. So now let's solve the system of equations using elimination. The H's get eliminated. Negative 84 plus 135 is 51. So 51B equals negative 409.5 plus 600.75 equals 191.25. Now let's divide both sides by 51. So 191.25 divided by 51 is 3.75. Which means, what? Therefore, fourth step, therefore, the cost of one burger was $3.75. And that concludes your notes over solving a word problem using a system of equations, day two. I hope it was helpful.